Hi, I'm Dr. Alison Grimaldi, and today we'll be talking hips. When non-invasive therapies are not adequately controlling the symptoms of hip osteoarthritis, but the patient is not yet a suitable candidate for total hip replacement, our medical colleagues are able to offer injectable or injection-like therapies. The role of injectable therapies is to reduce the overall symptoms of OA. Patients will still have symptoms and intermittent flares, but the aim is to reduce overall severity of the symptoms. So, what are the options? The most common injectables are corticosteroids and viscosupplementation. Intraarticular cortisone injections are generally used to manage acute flare-ups and for differential diagnosis, where the steroid is paired with the local anaesthetic. Viscosupplementation stimulates synovial cells to produce a thicker lubricant within the joint. This takes time, and so viscosupplementation is used for longer term symptom control. Often cortisone and viscosupplementation are paired with the aim of providing both short and long term pain relief. Less commonly, the patient may be offered a PRP injection or even a radiofrequency neurotomy. Of course, no invasive procedures come without risks. You can find more about the indications, advantages, disadvantages and risks of these procedures in a podcast interview I recorded with Dr. Patrick Weinrau, orthopaedic surgeon. You'll also find helpful infographics and key points in the accompanying blog. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on the next episode of Talking Hips with Dr. Ali.